Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you want to support me more, go follow me over at Twitch, at twitch.tv slash RetroMarioTwitch. And make sure to subscribe here on the YouTube channel, because I would love to get a silver play button, I would love to see 100,000 subscribers. Anyway, enough of me taking up your time, enjoy the video. My name is Miguel O'Hara, and I'm this universe's only Spider-Man. Well, I used to be the only Spider-Man. But now, thanks to that anomaly, there are hundreds of thousands of Spider-Mans in my own universe. I don't like how I'm supposed to be handling this, but it's the only way that I think I can handle it. It's not going to be easy, but taking up the job as Spider-Man is not easy. You. Why were you called here? Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool, yeah. <laughs> Worried about the anomalies. I will worry about the anomalies. You don't get it, do you? Everything must happen in accordance to the canon events. Otherwise, the timeline will fracture and be broken. You clearly don't understand that. Are you new? What dimension did you come from? Good, sir. I know. Every Spider-Man that I've seen so far is from New York. You're not special. I meant what dimension? What Earth? Ugh. I'm not going to yell at you, because clearly you're new to this. Let me explain a few things to you. There are these things called canon events. Specific things to happen in timelines to make sure that that timeline can flow properly. Without those canon kind of events that actually happen, the timeline will fracture and the web will be broken. But like I said, you don't know anything about that. So, my real question is, what did you do to make your canon event not happen? Don't just stand there twiddling your thumbs. Answer me! Fine. Then we'll go do it ourselves. I'm going to need backup in my lab. Send in Scarlet Spider. Mm -hmm. Listen, kid. I know you're all new to this and whatnot. But this is something more than you. This is something a lot bigger than you would ever imagine in your life. You see, without these canon events that happen, Spider-Man can't exist. 
So if something messes up in the timeline, or if one of the Spider-Men have messed up their canon events to make sure it doesn't happen, then that timeline will split off from the web. And without a canon timeline, the Spider-Men will fall. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Without canon events, you will disappear. Gone from existence. Now if you excuse me. I have a timeline I have to fix. No. You've done enough damage already. Kid, listen. You can't fix this. You're not strong enough, you're not prepared enough, and you're also just not ready. Me and my team will deal with this ourselves. You stay here in HQ. We will figure this out. You won't be able to fix anything. You want to know how I know this? You know I know how I know that every single canon event that must happen needs to happen because I tried to fix mine. It didn't work. Although it did for a little bit. I thought I was innocent. I thought nothing could go wrong. I had a family again. But things rapidly changed. Everything just wiped from existence. I saw everything... disappear in front of my eyes. Including my own family. So now I protect the web and make sure no candidate event is missed and make sure nothing goes wrong. Your mistake could cause the life of everybody in HQ. Your candidate event that you messed up could cause the death of thousands of Spider-Men. Do you understand now how bad this is? I've had this happen before with another Spider-Man. Their name was Miles Morales. They caused a non canon event to not happen in their timeline and they became an anomaly. Do you know what I have to do to said Anomalies. I have to get rid of them. To make sure that the timelines can fix themselves. Because without a universe, without a Spider-Man, that universe ceases to exist. And then the webs will fix itself like nothing happened. So instead of trying to fight with me to fix your old timeline... Stay here in HQ while we figure this out so we can contain the anomalies that are happening in your world. And then, when I get back, I will get rid of you. It's not the time to beg for mercy from me. There's no turning back from this. Do you understand? I'm only making an exception this time. This one time. 
you better not mess this up, kid. Otherwise, the fate of the multiverse for Spider-Man will be on your shoulders forever. Now go. I know I should have done this. I know I shouldn't have done this. I know I should have done this. Another anomaly trying to talk me out of getting rid of them, and I always fall for it because there's some young kid, and I can't do it. So I just it's not that I may have come. Let's fix this anomaly.